What's up guys? Today is finally, finally, finally Friday. I've been looking forward for this day for all week long. There's the snap on truck. There's the man himself. Fresh off a hot vacation. What do y'all hear about this one? But it's finally snap on Friday. Let's do it. Come on. Man, I've been waiting for you to get here because I knew when you showed up, it was almost time to almost over with. be done. Well, how's life treating you from your vacation? I've been busy trying to get caught up on everything. Everybody thought we was crazy last week because we had a Matco Friday because <laughs> uh, he was on vacation. They thought what they was, it threw everybody's week off. Threw everybody, messed everybody up then. Yeah. Yeah, they was trying to watch college football on Saturday, on Friday. <laughs> Friday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I'd take the week off, just went out of town for a few days, try to relax and stuff. And then that's the bad part about vacation though. When you get back, then it's even busier. Yeah. When you get you back. Catch it. Mm hmm So let me tell you about Hamilton's vacation. They went to Hot Springs, Arkansas, and he laid up in a bathhouse, had one of them little white robes on. <laughs> <laughs> little squishy things between his toes, getting his pedicures done, and lived like a little king out there. And got him a massage, probably a happy ending to go with it. And, uh, got his batteries recharged. You gotta get in where you fit in, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> I had no squishy things between my toes, but I did give him a massage though. Yeah, y'all believe that? I bet you if he pulled his socks off right now, they have pink toes. <laughs> He laid up smoking cigars, drinking Michelob Ultra, and some chick was <laughs> massaging his calves, painting his toenails pink. It may have been lime green. You like green, don't you? I do like green. Yeah, maybe lime, maybe look like an incredible hook down green. there. <laughs> <laughs> no, it is good to take a little time off work. And yeah, try to relax a little bit. This week, life. heck, I've been off half the week this week, but my son, been, we've been in Jackson a couple of days. He running uh, for state championship down there in middle school cool. for cross country. Well, anybody decides to voluntarily run blows my mind, but I go support them. <laughs> that's too much work running. Yeah, that's like Caroline's playing soccer, you know, and that's all they do. That's you all run, they run the whole yeah. time, you know. And I get wore out watching her. Yeah. So. Well, oh, yeah. Well. We was eating last night at the Mexican place, and I guess there's at so or Thursday night soccer games and stuff. It's that time of the year now. And oh, they get thing. into it too, man. Well, every little kid coming there, I mean, sweaty and dirty as can be, and that's yep. all you hear about their soccer. I mean, they love it. Yep. It's fun to watch, especially them little kids. Like, man, they, they, they get in a huddle. You know, it's kind of like a little <laughs> circle, and they're trying to kick the ball, and it's just bouncing off everybody's legs. It don't leave the circle <laughs> until it shoots out of bounds, you know. It's it's funny. It's, it's a good I time. told I might have told Clay the story. You see, my kids don't play soccer. But when they was little, they did. And then I got roped in. The park and rec director called me. I think my son was like five years old, needing another coach. I was like, I don't know if about soccer. He's like, your team wants to kick it in their goal, and you don't want to let their team kick it in your goal. I was like, well, I guess we can figure that one out, you know? Yeah. So, I mean, we didn't do no coach, and I'm like, so I'm over here hollering the whole time, kick it in their goal. <laughs> and then when they get to our side, don't let them kick it. <laughs> that's right. But that's all I knew about soccer. That's, a, that's a good enough. It works for five year olds. <laughs> True. Well, that's what he tried. Like I said, everybody gets in the ball. Boys and girls. It's just are, a big huddle in it. It's just, yeah. Well, like, there's more kicking shins and everything else than the ball. And the boy, that'd crack me up because when the ball goes out of bounds, they know they can't grab it with their hands. Mm -hmm. But every boy wants to be the first one. It's like, then it's a miniature UFC fight over here trying to get to the <laughs> ball. I mean, <laughs> jumping on each other's backs and all yeah. kind of stuff. That's true. You know, it is fun to watch, though, for sure. Well, you got a big old socket set down there. Yeah. What does that go up to? 
it's an inch and one eighth. Wow. And the deep end shallow, three eighths to inch and eight. That's a nice set. Half inch drive chrome. What you doing with all that off brand junk over there? I guess send these off, get them fixed. Gotta, don't tell me somebody's Milwaukee has done messed up. Yeah, that's uncommon what they, a lot of them say, ain't it? That's what I hear. I like they don't ever tear up. They never mess up. The batteries never fall out. Like that ain't my experience, but. <laughs> yeah. Well, we got three ratchets going to have to be sent back. And this is all from this week in the 3H drive. Yeah. These are the uh, nine fuel style, but this is a, that's a boot. This is a fuel right here, though. Yeah. But every week we send in a couple of them back. Here's one right here. Brand new. Straight out the package. Don't work. Wow. I guess I'm the quality controls too. kicking butt, ain't it? Yeah. Mm. This one actually been up here for a few. This has been up here for a while. But these all came in this week. Man. You can't just get them to trade up and get a snap on set. Uh, some of them have both. Because I tell you a secret, what I've learned, I can't keep the batteries in my stubby at all. Like they, you gotta them, hold your hand under it, you know. Just the vibration just will not let the battery well, stay. Everybody, if somebody says that the Milwaukee batteries, if they don't have problems with the Milwaukee batteries, they're lying to you because Milwaukee has their own website. They got problems with. Well, my batteries 18 volt vibrates. Like, well, when you turn it down like this, the battery loses connection on it. They. Well, so, that's the reason they come out with the bands because they don't know what to do to fix it. And then they, uh, but they vibrate. Somebody said on the 12 volts you can put silicone under the tabs and it'll work. But I know if them batteries fall out and they hit the ground, they, they are going to bust. Yeah, like the plastic, with. like I have dropped, first of all, I ain't had no issue with these batteries falling out at all. No. None. I'm about to say like, that. Yeah, you, we got They're almost a pain in the ass because yeah, you can't get them out, you know? <laughs> yeah, so we got an issue with these batteries, but it's not. Right. They fall, it's like, show everybody how that comes out because there's a lot of people. Now, hold on before we start hating. I know there's a lot of Milwaukee lovers. We're not hating on Milwaukee. Oh, wow. We're just stating the plain facts. Like, show how this, like, you can't hardly pull these, that joke. You got to pull it I've, out of there. The best way to do it, not tell everybody, flip them over. That's right. Squeeze these. Somehow. And then use your thumb to push. And yep. you gotta push them out. I mean, yep. or you, but it's easy, like I so said, flip them over, squeeze that, and use your thumb to push them out. And they're like all. Them batteries yeah. will hold. And like the 18 volt stuff that Snap-on's got, it's got a different lock on it the way it locks in. It ain't the same as a Milwaukee. It don't wobble out. Well, these is a massive, snug fit on these yeah there ain't no wiggle the, in there i don't have any 18 mil volt milwaukee stuff right now but when i get another one in we'll go over that the batteries and i mean it's on their website it ain't something that we're making up right they're on their website it tells you to a lot of people want to buy like the 12.0 batteries or 9.0 batteries on the the what 2767 yep. half inch impact they tell you do not do that because the batteries are too heavy for the guns mm -hmm. and they lose connection um uh, Seeing but, all I've got, my biggest Milwaukee battery is a five amp. They like, were, that is the biggest battery. They recommend have. not to put nothing over a six amp on them because yeah. of the weight of the battery. But mine, just the vibration of it has caused it to start. Like, and what's crazy is if you'll take a Milwaukee battery off, mine, like in here where the little tracks slide in that you can see. Yeah. It's got white, it looks like white powder in there. And that's where it's rubbing the plastic. From like right here in this, like this is obviously a snap-on battery. Yeah, but in but, between them right there. But right there it'll have like white, it looks like baby powder. And that's yeah. where that's rubbing the plastic from the vibration of it where it's not tight. Well, I mean, yeah. And you can feel these, you put them on there, you just, you got pushed to lock them. Mm -hmm. They're a lot harder fit. Like tighter people fit can fuss things. about snap-on all they want to. Yep. Their tools are more expensive. Oh, nope, yeah. they don't have near the warranty. But I have never oh, yeah. dropped a battery out of a Snap-on. I've never had a battery fall out of a Snap-on. I've never had it lose connection. Well, the I got a uh, 
And yeah, but. they're not as strong as a Milwaukee. Like the three eighths ain't close to what the Milwaukee is. And the half inch ain't near what the Milwaukee is. And yeah, you pay way more. But I like for my crap to work when I need it to work. Well, this is where they got a lot of problems. Of course, this is the biggest pad you can get in the 12, the 6.0. Yep. And uh, this one, you see they all move. Mm-hmm. About like that. Well, I know mine, like the two amp batteries or whatever, the little ears right here always turn loose on the stubby. And if that joker hits the ground, it's holy cow, it's got like a little plastic piece in the bottom that's screwed on you know it's got a where the screw kind of holds the bottom cup on it breaks every time yeah, so light comes on but so i don't know to each their own buy whatever you want like whatever you want well, that's support what, whatever company you want to support but i get people ask me all the time like well what do you think about the milwaukee stuff that's what them I don't have no problem with it because, I mean, if I sell it to you, I'm going to send it off. I didn't sell, well, I sold this and this. I didn't sell these two. Uh, the guy they bought these from ain't in business no more. It was Virgil, I tell y'all. But Oh, did so, he go out of business? Well, no, he, oh. he told them that he, since he's gone independent now, that he don't mess with sending these things off anymore. That's a good dealer for you so right there. So that's kind of like when he left. We were getting ready to leave Matco. He didn't want to warranty nothing, but he was still a Matco dealer. Yep. Wow. That's so a he's, high yeah, he, quality he salesman right there. He wasn't going to send these off for him. That's what I'm saying. I said, I sent them off. And uh, I said, it's going to take probably a month. Because, of course, as an individual, if you send all Milwaukee, just the Milwaukee East server, same thing if we send them off. Mm -hmm. They just take longer than we do it than what they do with the individual does it. Um, but they wanted me to send it off. Of course, they ain't got no receipt for them. I was telling myself, we send it. And if they charge, they charge. If they don't, they don't. I have to see what goes on. Oh, well. It is what it is. I don't know what they charge, like, out of warranty, but I know Snap-on, it's, what, is $125? And yeah, it's a flat rate. You get back a brand, brand spanking new, new gun. Now, I'll it may not good. be the same color, because <laughs> Hamilton sent off one of my red ones, and they come back green, but, yeah, hey, whatever, so well, the uh, Milwaukee, I have seen them send back brand new ones, but more times than not, they're going to take them apart, fix what's wrong with them, mm -hmm. then send them back. Which, I mean, more companies do that than what how Snap-on right. does it with a brand new unit and everything. I know most of the time with Snap-on, at least you're going to get a new nose cone on the CT-761s anyway. Yeah. So. Well, you're going to have a new body on them. Mm -hmm. And they're not going to Snap-on, they tell you that they don't replace the whole unit. And they're not. They will. Uh, a lot of times you see them, and like the trigger might have a scratch on it from the old one, or the right. screws on the old. Like, why you don't pull the screws out of a new one to put the old ones in? There? Yeah. But that's what they do, though. Oh well. It's nice because I've had people talk to me like, man, I found this on Facebook Marketplace or whatever. It's one hundred twenty-five dollars for a CT seven sixty-one, two batteries and a charger. I'm like, buy it. Yeah. Because worst yep, case, if it don't work or it don't work right, $125 more, you got 250 bucks in a, you know, two batteries yep. gun and charger. Well, even, you can't go wrong with that. I got guys out that were not no more, but you see that call me, same thing. Hey, I found this with the two batteries. Like, if you got two batteries and they work, then you that's... You better just, buy it. Yeah. yeah. That's $200 right yeah. there in batteries, you Exactly. Know? Plus, the gun's a freebie after that point. That's it. Can't but beat it. Can't beat find, it with a stick. You find some good deals on... Well, Facebook's a little bit harder. Everybody on, that sells stuff on Facebook thinks it's worth gold mm -hmm. most of the time. Oh, man, some of the prices on eBay is ridiculous. Like, you can buy new off the Snap-on truck cheaper than you can. <laughs> like, I've thought about, like, selling some of my shit on eBay and just turn around and, like, here, Hamilton, here's $500. I only sold two ratchets. Replace these for me. <laughs> you know? Invested crazy. 300 got 500 out of it. That's it. Yeah, I don't mess with eBay a whole bunch. Um, I will get on there and just look for stuff, just to see I'm different things all the time. There, but there's no telling what you find on eBay, though. That's true. Well, we finna go back in here and finish the day. It's almost beer 30, and uh, I'm ready for about a dozen of them tonight. Been, Been one long of them week. kind of weeks. 
All right, guys, like always, thank y'all for hanging out with us today. If you like the video, hit that thumbs up. Check over your merchandise, cool tools, and discount codes down here. If you're not subscribed, take your finger and click that button. Just press it. You guys have a great week. Catch you later.